What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. And I'm back again with my 2021 8 Quart Ninja Foodie XL. Today for you guys, I'm gonna make this freezer to oven, oven ready home style boneless turkey breast with it even comes with a gravy package. Now this is about four and a half pounds. This ran me about 13 bucks. Your store may have their version of it. It may not be this this brand. Was it Jenny O? They may have their another brand. Might be Butterball. Might be wh whoever. But um, we're gonna steam and crisp this in the Ninja Foodie. So I'm excited about that. Let's look at the charts here. Turkey breasts, three to five pounds. Spray with oil. Put it in the crisper basket at 365 for about. 45 to 55 minutes cool and by the way if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe so that YouTube will notify you of my next videos as well as my kitchen talk lives or my live giveaways on YouTube you don't want to miss that alright guys so this is what we're looking like frozen solid has this little plastic around it or a you know, plastic bag. And this is the gravy packet. Cool. Now, I can imagine if I wanted to, I could just take this out the bag and just start cooking it. But, you know what? Just for argument's sake, I'm just going to keep it in the bag. Now, the, the instruction says to cut, like, three slits in, in the top, on the top of the bag. So, I'll do four. There you go. And guys, remember, I'm taking one for the team. I've not seen this on video. I've not done it myself, but we're not afraid. One cup of water, that's for the steam. Since you're watching, let's go ahead and add some liquid smoke. Why not? One, two, three. Now the charts did suggest me use the little crisper thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this rack. I feel more comfortable using the rack. I'm a rack guy. Place this baby right here. Boom, boom, in the center as best I can. That looks good. All right, I'm going to close her up. Crisscross. My subscribers will get that. <laughs> anyway, we put it to the middle because that's the steaming crisp um, position. So I'm going off the charts that I just showed you earlier. It said at five pounds. 55 minutes at 365 so since we have four and a half I'll do 50 at 365 and we could always check it no big deal so we're gonna go to 50 minutes here boom hit start so this starts the steaming process and this goes for about 15 minutes so I'll be back all right, looks like 15 minutes is up. So let's say I will, so 20, I'll take a look at that 25 minutes. And there's 25 minutes left, we'll take a look and see. All right guys, let's open it up and see what we're working with. Okay, which is weird, it tipped on its side. I don't know why it did that, but let me open this up and kind of make it sit. Oh. It's just, that's the way it is. Okay. So it's looking good. Smelling good. Cool. We'll put it back down. All right. I went in through a slit that I made, you know, earlier on. And we're at, and I'm checking the temp, of course, because I don't want to make this dry. Because we're going to eat this. I'm just showing you, just having fun with the experiment. But this is going to be some good eating today. So we're at 151 with 10 minutes left, which is about right. We may have to go five minutes over, but I know for sure that it is not dry. It's not going to be dry. And if you guys don't have a meat thermometer, I'll leave a link in the description. Definitely, if you don't have one, please get one. All right, guys, we are just about done. So, guys, I opened the top of the bag. And this is what we got. Looks really good, guys. This could be you. 
I accidentally ripped some of the skin off when I took the bag off the rest of the uh, turkey on the right side but guys check this out the bag in the back says this would take three hours in the oven three hours this took 50 minutes plus 15 to steam so that's an hour and five minutes you do the math put the original ceramic pot to soak and I inserted my stainless steel inner pot for my ninja foodie and as you can see I'm finishing up my mashed potatoes it smells absolutely fantastic I'm gonna throw some sweet corn in the microwave guys look at that guys take a look at that shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished I appreciate that my quick little plate guys all right guys the paper towel went up that means it's time to eat and I am starving so let's cut right into it. And I get my own gravy. I just use the steak sauce. I like using steak sauce as gravy. It's just an easier way if you don't feel like making gravy or warming up gravy. It's a great substitution. You should try it. But anyway, you first. You got it? Moist. Juicy. Flavorful. It's perfect, guys. Far from dry. It's just good. Let's dip it in some mash. You first. You got it? Alright. Hmm. <clears throat> It's just too good guys this is perfect well this was fun guys and again I'll leave a link in the description to this Ninja Foodie XL it's the most complete gadget um, in my opinion in 2021 it does more than air fry and pressure cook and steam and crisp and saute just click the link and check it out for yourself it's the most complete gadget that I would say in 2021 that you can buy all right. Now, as far as the uh, turkey in the bag, turkey breast in the bag. Now, this was the most moist uh, of frozen turkey in the bag. I mean, turkey breast that I've done in a gadget outside the oven. Now, I've never done it in the bag, so I don't know if it's the steam or it's the bag, but it's the most moist I've done a frozen turkey breast in a gadget. So definitely try it out. Um, if you have a Ninja food, or if you don't, I guess you could steam it first in your uh, Instant Pot for 15 minutes, I guess, and then follow suit. If you have an air fryer, switch it over to an air fryer and do it that way. But like I said, you don't have to do it in the bag, but I believe it might make it a little, the insides a little more moist than otherwise. But that, you know, I'd have to do some more testing on that. But that's it, guys. That's all I got. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug, and I'm out.